Today I'm going to show you how to create Blackboard Collaborate Ultra Sessions within your Blackboard 24-7 learning course. So first you're going to go to your course and you're going to enable the tool. So you're going to click on Customization and Tool Availability and you're going to make sure that this box is checked next to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, that it is available. And you're going to click Submit. Okay, once you've done that, you can find it under Course Tools. Click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Okay, the first thing you're going to do here is you're going to lock your course room. So the course room is something that all students have access to at any time they're in the course. So you want to make sure that this is locked so that students can't go in there when you're not around. And all you do is you click on this circle with the three horizontal dots and you're going to click a button here that says Lock Course Room. And here I can see that it's locked. Fairfax County is looking to remove this feature entirely, but for now just make sure it's locked. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create a single session and then a repeat session. So let's go with the single session. I'm going to pick the start and end times, but first I want to disable guest access because I don't want students to be able to die, go in with a link. That's what allows them to go in anonymously. So I want to disable guest access and I want to choose a start and end time for my class. Okay, and I can make that whatever the time is for my class and I can set my end time and I can decide when I want students to be able to enter my class. Do I want them to go in 15 minutes before or no early entry? That's really personal preference. And then here under session settings, I want to check anonymized chat messages and I want to uncheck all of these features. I can always go in during my session and I can enable these features. I can decide if I want students to be able to join using a telephone and I can decide if I want participants to only chat privately with moderators. I'm going to click Save. And there's my session. It's not yet started, but once it's started, I can click on it and just click Join Session. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create a recurring session, a repeat session. Okay, again, I want to disable guest access. Very important, so students can't come in with a link and I'm going to pick the time for my recurring class. Okay, so let's say that it's at 9.15 a.m. every day, every Thursday, I'm sorry, and it ends at 10 a.m. every Thursday. And I'm going to click repeat here. And here I can decide how often do I want to repeat it? I want to repeat it every Thursday and I want to end it after eight occurrences. And then again, do I want students to be able to arrive early? And then for session settings, I want to anonymize chat messages, show profile pictures for moderator only. I want to uncheck all of these and I can decide if I want participants to only chat privately with moderators. Okay, I can click Save here. Now let's say that I want to delete one of my recurring events. I can just click on this carrot here. I can click here and I can delete the occurrence or I can edit the individual occurrence. So that gives me some control over my recurring events. Okay, one last thing I'm gonna show you how to do is link your Blackboard Collaborate Ultra tool to your to your your menu of options. So you're going to click the plus sign here and you're going to go to tool link and you should call this collaborate ultra and you're going to pick blackboard collaborate ultra and you're going to click submit and you want to make sure that this is available. So you're going to click show link and now I'm going to move it up because I want it to be the top button. And so now when I click on this, it takes me to my menu of options. And that is how you create sessions within your Blackboard 24-7 account.